Hi everyone, welcome to another video from the URI Physics Department. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the third Physics 274 lab, which is capacitance. Um, there are two parts to the experiment. In part one, the goal is to calculate the equivalent capacitance of a two capacitor circuit for parallel and series configurations. In part two, we are going to deal with parallel plate capacitors. Okay, so here we have a capacitance box that has five capacitors in it, and here we have a capacitance meter. So to theoretically calculate the equivalent capacitance for a series or parallel circuit, uh, we first need to know the capacitance of C1 and C2. So first, we'll measure C1. This is on a 2 microfarad scale, and you can find the reading right up here. And then for C2, the capacitance is written right here. Okay, so now I'm going to determine the experimental equivalent capacitance for a series in parallel circuit. So first we'll start by connecting them in series. So first we'll have um, a current flowing from here through C1, so it'll go across C1, this first capacitor, and then it'll go through C2. So it'll follow this wire, cross C2, and then come back around the other side. And that's our equivalent capacitance reading for the series circuit. Now I'll hook them up in parallel. So I'll start over, take everything out. So parallel, there's going to be a couple junctions. So the first junction will be right here. So you want to give the current the option to go either through C1 or through C2. So here there will be a junction, the connections will meet. So you could have electrons moving through here or through here. And we'll have the same situation on the other side. So everything that comes out here can go across C1 or it can go back to the beginning. And there's your equivalent capacitance for the parallel circuit. A capacitor consists of two electrodes, two conductors, separated by a non-conducting medium. Based on geometry, there is a one type of capacitor called parallel plate capacitor. Here we have the parallel plate capacitor. Parallel plate capacitor consists of two parallel plates and there is a small separation between those two plates. The non-conducting medium in between these two plates is air. A capacitor is characterized by the capacitance which we measure in farads. If I define the, what is the meaning of capacitance, capacitance is how much charge on one plate in coulombs when there is a unit potential radian in between the two plates. If I say that in an equation, capacitance equals charge on a parallel plate divided by the potential difference between two plates. For parallel plate capacitor, there is another equation for the capacitance. The capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor is related to the, the area of the one parallel plate and the distance between two plates and the permittivity constant of air. Here we have capacitance meter. So in this experiment, we are changing the distance between two plates while we are recording the, the capacitance. If I increase the separation between two parallel plates, you will notice the capacitance will be decreasing. Now I'm increasing the separation and the capacitance is decreasing. If I go back, if I reduce the separation between the parallel plates, you will notice the capacitance is increasing. All right, that's how you measure the capacitance. The ultimate goal of this experiment is to calculate the permittivity constant of air and comparing it with the theoretical value. 